It's one of the most egregious examples of abuse of the public trust that I've ever witnessed in all the years that I've been the state auditor. And deputies say he was on the run to Mexico with the former director of the North Fork Area Transit is now in a Texas jail accused of embezzling nearly a million dollars. I'm Rob McCartney. I'm Julie Cornell. Thanks for joining us. A Nebraska state audit is just made public today. It alleges that Jeffrey Stewart falsified timesheets, gambled on the public's time and money, and also wrote bills that were never mailed, just put in his pocket, the cash. As KETV News Watch 7's Andrew Ozaki explains the auditor launched his investigation after Stewart fled the country. More damning evidence against the former director of the Norfolk Area Transit, Jeff Stewart. The 32-year-old was arrested for felony theft July 13th. He's accused of falsifying records and allegedly embezzling up to a million dollars in public funds that was supposed to go to help transport low-income handicapped and elderly residents in Madison County. It's one of the most egregious examples of abuse of the public trust that I've ever witnessed. Nebraska State Auditor Mike Foley says his office launched a deeper dive into nonprofits' books after an arrest warrant was issued for Stewart in December. He says what they found was shocking. He was embezzling the money left and right including a $35,000 trip to Disney World in Florida with his family, allegedly with public funds, and during a time he said he was on the clock. He was over at the Iowa casinos multiple times, spending public dollars at the casino. The auditor found several wire transfers on the program's credit card, again at times when Stewart claimed to be working. There wasn't a whole lot of oversight as to what he was doing. And the auditor says when the money started to dry up, Stewart wrote checks like this one for $15,000, claiming they were expenses to get reimbursed by government agencies. But the checks were never sent to the vendor. Hey, we're not even sure they were legitimate expenses. We found them stuffed in desk drawers. Checks prepared, signed, never mailed. In all, we think it could be up to a million dollars, um, maybe even more. But the auditor found more problems. Two thirds of the drivers didn't have proper licenses. One driver had, had no license whatsoever. He had two, two uh, DUI convictions. According to court documents, Stewart left his Norfolk home in early December, just days before the arrest warrant was issued. He just vanished and then he surfaced in Mexico. Madison County Sheriff's investigators say they were able to get Stewart to voluntarily come back across the border into the U.S. where he was arrested. The nonprofit is back up and running thanks to fundraising efforts after being shut down from January to April. They're revamping the whole thing, scaling it down somewhat, which is smart, and putting in a new board to oversee uh, what's to, what the new management will do, and um, hopefully uh, we, they won't have repeat problems. Andrew Ozaki, KETV, News Watch 7.